brothers and sisters of the celestial energy. It's Brother Wisdom, what's going on, guys? Evolution. Evolution. You know the old saying of monkeys turning into men and ape turning into men. That's not evolution. That's that's like an old wives' tale. All right. <laughs> That's an old wives' tale that was made up long ago, and for some reason they put that garbage into um, the scholastic, into the educational system. You know, I remember reading that shit when I was um, coming up in school and seeing this organism that turned into a monkey, and you had the monkey or the ape all bent over, and then that turned into a man and they said this was evolution <laughs> you know that's that's the the garbage that they fed us you know because they really didn't want us to know what evolution really is evolution is going from one state of mind to another all right i want to say it one more time evolution is going from one state of mind to another all right, which means that evolution is a is more so like the rapture. You know, it's, it's you know you you uh, the the original the, the the original encyclopedia definition of a uh, rapture is um uh an enlightened mindset or or, or the, an, on a, an advanced uh, um. An advanced enlightened mindset. I mean, that's that's I think if, if, I, if I got that right. So the point where we begin to evolve is where we begin to understand that the only way that we're going to become more powerful, more vibrational, more uh, with higher frequencies is how we shape our minds. And that's something that we talked about before. You know, um, there are brothers and sisters saying, do you know a book for this? And do you know a book for that? And I can tell you this right here. Out of all the people who's read so many different books, they haven't even evolved to that highest state from all the books that they've read. All right, you understand where I'm coming from? All the books that so many people have read, they haven't evolved. They haven't um, linked into that ultimate power, that ultimate energy. They're just reading books. That's all they're doing, just reading books. All right? So, you know, your point of evolution is something that we've been talking about for a while. And you've got to realize that you going from um, you challenging yourself, all right? Let's just say that you challenging yourself, you know, because this is where we well, this is where we at right now, all right? At the point where we must begin to challenge ourselves so that we can become a more powerful. Uh, more powerful vessels of, of of energy and power. All right, you know, um, I'm a carpenter. All right, and we're going to get into this evolution thing real quick. It's, it's, I'm going to make it short. It's nothing, nothing real long. I'm a carpenter. All right, and I can build a door straight from scratch. Seriously, I can. I can build platform bed, I can build bed frames, I can make I can. I have made dinette sets from scratch alright um, I can build anything cabinets, you name it I can build it dressers, boudoirs you name it, I can build it I'm a carpenter and it's good to work with wood it's good to do this thing, you know, and, and, and the thing about it is, you know, 
all before I was just doing what I know. And this is something that uh, Jakar Bay has said in um, that last message that, um, you know, we must, um, uh, that, that last message that we had before this one here. Uh, um, and that's something that Jakar Bay said was just do what you know. And the key point is if you just do what you know, this is just something normal. This is like the normal thing to do. All right. This is the normal thing to do. And you cannot evolve with normalcy. Okay. You cannot evolve just being normal. All right. If you're a musician, all right, if you're a musician and you make music and you can make some of the most beautiful music in the world, that's what you do. And you try to make a different type of music, you do that, but you're just still doing, that's the normal thing. That's that's what you normally do, all right? That's what you normally do. But if you are... seeking for higher vibrations then that um, that life of living as a musician must change which means that you must go from a musician to let's just say being a carpenter and you put down your keyboard and, and all these other things and you say, I need to expand my mind. I need to expand my mind. So you put down the keyboard and you start learning how to cut wood and measure wood and and do all the different things. Now your vibrations begin to pick up because your mind is a gateway. And now you have opened up the gateways within yourself to go into a different a different area that's not normal to you. All right. So basically, you're challenging yourself to become more powerful. All right. Now, I remember when the first time I made those wooden pyramids that I put in that field. And somebody ended up buying the field or whatever. That's what I found out. It's like a whole bunch of trucks there or whatever. But I remember that because I because because I went to the tree. I got conversated with the tree and I got information from the tree and you know tree showed me all the information. And I went into meditation and I was like I was like, you know, how can I create something greater? You know. And from the information I got from the tree and the information I got from within going into the higher realms, what I picked up was that you combine the resources. So, and I wanted to do that pyramid effect. So I created the pyramid with the wood and it was simple pyramids, you know, you know, cut the the wood into 45 degree angles. And then um, I attached, I wrapped the, 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 the quartz crystals with, with copper wiring and connected that to oh uh, the pyramid excuse me there connected that to the pyramid and from that point I began to understand what was going on so then I I took some copper coil some copper wire and coiled it up and used the used the staple because the staple is made out of zinc and I used the staples and connected that to to this this pyramid, and it was giving all so much crazy energy. My children, my wife, the children in the neighborhood was like loving this thing, and they was like, you know, where is it? You know, you gonna make another one? You gonna make another one? Because I went and put it in the field. Because where I wanted to keep it, you know, it was like the neighbors was like some of the neighbors who really weren't in tune were, were kind of scared of it because they didn't know what it was. They didn't understand, but the children loved it. So 
that was my first venture into going deeper into myself, linking into a different part of um, creation. So I created that wooden pyramid and therefore my vibrations began to rise even greater. And when I went into meditation, my meditation was stronger. So then I began to dabble into certain parts of chemistry. You know, I got my um, copper sulfate and I started dabbling in that and then poured it out and did something else. And, and then, you know, I was starting doing something else and some, then I, I got the, um, I did the, the, uh, the one session that I did on, I had sand inside of, um, this tray and I had the, the zinc screws, the copper wire, uh, going into the tray with the sand at a certain at a certain point to test to see if that sand was going to give off energy. It was, gave off very little energy, but that's, that's the thing about it. It was it was it was all a part of evolution, evolving. See, if you don't put in anything, then you're not getting anything back. Like I said, you can read all the books you want to read. I am so serious. There's so many brothers and sisters want to read books. We just want because we've been taught to read books. You can read all the books you want to read, but you got to understand when the libraries that we had in the days of old, they were not books. They were scripts and they were scripts to show us how to do this and how to do this, how we built this right here. How do you create that there? That's what they were. They were scripts. They were scrolls, better yet. They were scrolls and not scripts, but they were scrolls to show us how to build, how to create, how to design, how to do that in order for us to this. That's that's what the libraries were all about. All right. So if you want to evolve into a higher dimensional, higher powerful being, then you must be able to go outside of what you know, because your mind is a gateway. See, evolution is going from one state of mind to the highest state of, to another state of mind. I was talking with a brother earlier and he says, he says, I can see evolution. He said, he said, you can, you can see like, uh, um, you've got this whole universe and he says, now this universe wants to become a, 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 a more greater part of the macroverse. So he says, this universe begins to transcend into another form of, it, of, it, of its own self. And then you have that white light and it said, and he's like, and the brother was like, he's like, it looks like to us that it, you know, it's taking a while for that white light to spread. But that universe says that, you know what? I am connecting myself to my infinite self and making myself more powerful within me. So basically universe within itself says I have to transcend my mind to a higher state in order for me to evolve into a different organism. Just like if you look at Dragon Ball Z, you see Goku, Goku transcended his mind. His mind went from one state to another state to another state to another state till he became the white. So you have to understand brothers and sisters that evolution is a, the, 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 uh, 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 going from one state of mind to the next state of mind which means that you have to challenge yourself. You have to, that's why we talk about building and creating. All of you all who, who started the building, the wands and the scepters, uh, I'm, I'm, I, I got you guys, I got you. Uh, <laughs> I got you, I'm gonna be posting your pictures. All of you guys who have um, created the wands and the scepters and, and the orgones, you have challenged yourself. Now you open up the gateways in your mind. Now you're evolving. This is a higher state of mind. Now you're going to a higher state of mind. Now you're going to think about how can I make something bigger? How can I make something more powerful? How can I, this is where we are. We're supposed to be linking directly into the form of cosmic intelligence. Cosmic intelligence takes us into the, to areas that mankind can never take us because mankind can only depend upon that five dimensional mindset, which is artificial intelligence. We are cosmic intelligence in the flesh. We are literally the cosmos in the flesh, brothers. So, so you have to understand, understand, overstand. Your evolution begins with you going to a higher mindset. 
from one state of mind to the next state of mind to the next state of mind going higher and higher which means that you challenging yourself it's like it's like that that one brother that one sister who only knows how to rap and you say you know what let me give up this this rapping thing here here let me go and i'm going to be a bricklayer so you learn how to be a bricklayer now you're starting to feel the vibrations and energy because because you know you're building all right you're creating all right you're building you're creating so then you say, all right, I did this bricklaying thing. Let me learn, let me go and, 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 and do some, some plumbing. I'm gonna learn how to bend pipes. Now let me go, Betty, let, let, let me get out all this, I'm gonna get out the skills trade and I'm getting ready to go into some physics and I'm gonna learn the dynamics of, of energy and light and, and learn this right here. And let me let me try something, you know, just like what, what I'm doing right now. You know, my, my project is a physics project where I'm getting ready to test sound, compressed sound, and see what happens when you compress sound and see if that sound produces energy even to see if that sound produces light. And I'm gonna have it all set up in a certain fashion where I could be able to see uh, inside of this device that I'm gonna create. All right, oh my goodness, I'm getting hot. <laughs> I'm getting hot. Let me open up this thing right here. This is what happens when you uh, go into a state of evolution because you begin to heat up. Evolution is when you are going from one state of mind to the next state of mind to the next state of mind and you are beginning to move into true power. All right. So I just want to pass that on to you, brothers. So I hope you guys can understand this right here. I got to get back in here and get this get, get, go back to work here. I've been gone too long already, but I just wanted to pass that on to you. All right. So. Just remember, your state of evolution is when you take your mind from one state to the next state to the next state. Open up those gateways. That's when you begin to evolve. All right? I'll catch you guys later. You know the deal. All power to the multi chakra celestial angelic beings who make chaos ring with you forever and ever and ever. And remember, chaos rings change. Peace has never brought change. Peace has keep you stagnated. Chaos brings change. Chaos is challenging yourself. All right? Much power to you all.